Yeah, no, and I can understand that as well. And yeah, but one of the big things that we were kind of taught doing this was if someone comes at you with a gun and they're like, say, give me your money, the best thing to do is give them your money. <laughs> um, because it is kind of a rather just give them your money, give them your phone, whatever you can, you can replace that. It might really suck for now. It's going to be expensive, but at least you walk away with your life. You're still alive. Even if you know what That's you're doing, smart. it's still better to do that. And not just run, because again, like if you just run away with a gun, they can still shoot you. There's still something they can do. With a knife, they have to chase you. But yeah, so it is better to just give them what they want. They'll probably go away. The thing is, if that is not enough, if they're still there, if they get aggressive, if it looks like they are going to hurt you or try and kill you, that is where the training comes in. That is where knowing what to do might save your life but you really don't ever want to be in a situation like that so that's right yeah yeah so i think the most valuable lesson i learned in doing the years of fighting practice that i did was avoid a fight pay attention and if you get into a thing try and get out of it without ever having to actually fight the other person because if you do there's always the chance that it won't go well. <laughs> so, That's right. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I think that is a really good idea. <coughs> excuse me. That's yeah, all right. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Well, actually, I have a flu, so yeah. I hope uh, no, no, yeah, don't worry. Don't it, worry. <laughs> it's a good idea to avoid the fight because, you, mm. know, you know, if you fight in the, how is it, the cases will go bad. And, mm. But, you know, like there is a case that you can avoid, like right, because mm -hmm. even though you give money, they're going to hurt you. In that mm -hmm. case, you're going to use the skill like you learn. Yes. All right. Yes. Yes, I think yeah, it is a really good idea. I think that is yeah. a really valuable lesson. I think. Yeah, and yeah, it is one of those things where it's nice to know, and it's one of those things like I'm glad I know how to do it. I just hope I never, ever, ever have to use it. <laughs> so. <laughs> But yeah, no, but yeah, so that's, that was kind of, as far as sports are concerned, that was kind of what I did most of the time as I was doing martial arts. I did a little bit of dancing for a short while, but not much, but yeah, I, and then as far as other, like more traditional sports, um, I did play a bit of soccer. I played when I was younger and then I tried again when I was a little bit older I played a little bit of hockey, but I was really bad at that. I played a bit of tennis, and that wasn't so bad. I did enjoy tennis. Um, and then when I got to high school, um, I played basketball, and that I enjoyed. That wasn't so bad. I enjoyed playing basketball. I had a couple of friends who played basketball. But um, the problem was the basketball lessons and another lesson of mine conflicted there was a conflict in schedule so i there, i had two things at the same time and um because of what i was trying to do and so on basketball unfortunately kind of had to take second place so i didn't get to go to basketball very often um which is like it was unfortunate but um i do feel like in my life the other lesson was a slightly more important one for me um but yeah um oh I but see. i've never played dodgeball before. oh you never played dodgeball yeah they didn't have it at our school oh that's unfortunate i mean yeah it is really fun if you play <laughs> like, maybe yeah you can play one day with your friends or something you know right now you know it's hard to play but yeah when you get a chance to try it, it's it's so much fun like you know soccer okay. basketball I'm like martial arts, the touch balls are a lot of fun. So okay. yeah, you said you don't play uh, soccer, but like there is a World Cup going on right now. And do you follow World Cup? Like, do you watch I, soccer? I would occasionally follow and watch, especially World Cups. This year, unfortunately, I have just not been able to. I have not had the chance or opportunity or time. I I've been like 
<laughs> the, especially the last like two months have been so unbelievably busy for me in my life. So most of what I hear is <laughs> when I hear from students, um, which, you know, sort of like bits and pieces. So I, I've not been able to follow. So actually, I have a question for you. How have they been going so far? Okay, actually, no. I've got a series of questions I want to ask you. First question, who are you supporting? Uh, of course, Korea, because, you know, okay. I'm Korean. Yeah, of course, yeah. Okay. And what's your second, second question? Thing? How are they doing? Uh, actually, unfortunately, they're. I think they're done right now. They, uh, they so failed to go to in a round eight. I think. I, okay. Uh, if I say right, you know, they are failed to go to round eight, so that's pretty unfortunate. Mm, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, not so the then. Not good. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So then uh, do you have a, like a second team that you are supporting now of the remaining teams? Uh, I don't have a, <coughs> you know, second favorite team. Like I only support Korea, but you know, I still okay. watch them because there are a lot okay. of you know, news about soccer results. So yeah, I can yeah. still see who is going to win. Yeah, who is winning. Okay. Okay. And then so far, uh, who do you think is going to win the whole thing based on the results so far? I think Brazil is going to win the World Cup. Okay. I think you know Brazil is going to win. Uh, well, how do I say? One hundred percent. Okay. I think so obvious. So obvious. Like too predictable. Brazil. Okay. <laughs> Brazil. Brazil is one of Brazil is strongest uh, soccer com country i guess yeah but, yeah yeah so, i know they've so. they've always been a very very strong uh a very strong team um, i know korea also lost to brazil like uh, by four to one so. oh okay so yeah it was so they're really also playing like on form at the moment so really good players playing well now that's right so yeah i think that's why brazil is going to win okay Okay. Yeah, not interesting. Okay. So I guess I will try and um, keep an ear out and see how things go. How many matches are still left in the World Cup? Well, actually, I don't really know about it. Like, I, okay. I only watch soccer if there is a match about Korea. But these oh, days, I don't, okay. I don't need to watch any match because, you know, Korea already oh, failed. Okay. So, yeah, I don't okay. know. Actually, right, I so... mostly play, like, if, it's, if there are special events like World Cup, then I watch, but there aren't, then I use, I just like playing. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so that's a little bit more similar to kind of how I felt about sports. Like, yeah, well, sports are fun, and I play more than I would watch. I very rarely watched, uh, unless it was like a World Cup or something. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I okay. think so too. I think yeah, sometimes watching sports is boring. You know? Like, you just want to mm -hmm. play, right? So yeah. <laughs> since, so. Yeah, like I can just you know sit and watch for an hour mm. and two hours. It's so yeah. boring. So yeah, that's yeah, that's why I play. Okay, no, fair enough, and I can respect that. So I then wanted to ask you. Um, so with how much you enjoy your sports and so on, are you potentially hoping one day to make a career out of sports, or is it more mostly just like a hobby? Uh, so right now it's hobby, but <clears throat> maybe if I like sports, you know, maybe at the more maybe I can be the PE teacher. Okay. Yes, I, I really like sports, but at least, but right now I'm just playing it for my hobby, playing okay. in, as my hobby. Okay. Like I don't want to be a professional uh, a soccer player or oh, okay. professional, you know sports player because mm -hmm. I, I I know that. It's really hard. Okay. So you want to kind of keep this as this is just something I love. This is something that I enjoy to spend my time on. You don't really necessarily want to make that work. That's right. Mm. <coughs> yeah. No, <I> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, uh, you, so not a problem. Not a problem. No, I do understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't help being sick. So really, don't worry. <laughs> I know it's so sick. Well, yeah, like, have you ever had flu? I mean, 
so terrible. Oh yeah, no, I hate it. Um, I it's yeah. This last winter, I did get a little bit sick, but um, the last couple of years, weirdly, especially with like the pandemic and stuff, I have not gotten very sick the last couple of years. But beforehand, every winter, like without fail, I would at least get like a cold, maybe a stronger flu, and. Oh, I hated it, and I would, and because uh, I would always cough, it would always start in my chest. But the worst is if that chest cold migrated to my head, and then I'd get a head cold, and then you're dizzy, and you know you're you're stuffy, you can't breathe properly, and everything just feels terrible. Oh, I hated that. <laughs> That's right. That's why I also hate these. Like they're yeah. so it's so sick, like so many symptoms, you know, like headache, you're so dizzy that you can't even stand, and you also have a sore throat. Yeah. So uncomfortable. Yeah. Also you have a runny nose. So yeah. Terrible. Yeah. And I guess also, and this is something I did feel a bit, but I think because I am also the kind of person who enjoys like watching movies, playing video games, being a little bit of a couch potato wasn't as big a problem. But I imagine for somebody who likes going out, playing sports and doing all these things, when you're sick, you can't really do that. <laughs> so, <pretty> yeah. <coughs> yeah. That, it's that it's pretty hard. terrible for me. Yeah. So usually, yeah, I would go to – so right now I can go to school, but – yeah, I mean, I'm an active person, so I like to I like to go in school and you know play sports and meeting friends. Mm -hmm. But no, I can't do it. I mean, maybe yeah. for someone, yeah, as you say, so for someone who is not active, like playing video games, watching mm -hmm. movies, it might be better. But yeah, for me, it was terrible. Yeah, for no, me, I it can it's like it's like torture because now you have to like sit and like, what do I do? <laughs> so boring. But, yeah. Yeah. Right now, I'm taking medicine, so yeah, I hope I get better soon, so that I yeah. can go to school and you know play sports again and yeah. meet friends again. So, yeah. Yeah. And I I hope for you to get better soon as well, because yeah, I I know it it really sucks. So... Yeah. Thank you so much for saying that. <laughs> so what do you do to keep yourself busy when you're kind of stuck at home, sick? Uh, so when I'm in home, so I I eat mostly. Uh, watch oh no not, not mostly so when i'm in home i i solve mad problems and i also read some books mm. i watch some youtubes and okay. also what is it yeah i play with my younger brother okay playing board games yeah and it is how i spend time in uh home okay okay yeah so yeah, you said that you you enjoy math. So do you enjoy just solving math in your free time as well, or just as a subject you enjoy it? Uh, actually, I I like solving math problem in my free time. It is one of my okay. hobby. Like okay. actually, math is my favorite subject because okay. I think it's really fun to solve new problems, solve difficult hmm. problems. I mean, sometimes it is difficult, but when you solve it, you're very happy about it. Yeah. Because you feel like wow, I solve difficult problems. So yeah, yeah okay. Guess. That's what yeah, like solving math in my free oh. time. No, that's very interesting. Look, yeah. I, there's By a way, lot more I want to ask, but we're out of time. <laughs> I know. You yeah, so it was really nice talking to you. The time flies. Yeah, thank you so much. It was very nice meeting you. Have yeah. a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Have again. a great day. Thanks. Hope Bye. to see you again. Bye.